Hey, this is Tom Webster, and this is Sounds Profitable for Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. How branded podcasts might be one key to new listeners. This week, I'm going to take a look at brand fans and how branded podcasts could actually grow the overall audience for podcasting. But first, new on the product deep dive, Brian Barletta is joined by Podscribe Head of Marketing, Amelia Coomber, to look at the platform's social graph. With newly released tools, Podscribe can both show how much of a given podcast's audience is from a chosen demographic, as well as recommend podcasts with a similar audience makeup. You can see it all in under 10 minutes on this week's Deep Dive Quick Hit on SoundsProfitable.com. In last month's presentation of the podcast landscape, I hinted that branded podcasts, or at least podcasts about brands, might be one way to introduce new listeners to podcasts. Well, let's unpack that a little bit more in the wake of last week's publication of The Power of Brands in Podcasts, our most recent report, which quantified that opportunity a little bit more clearly. The heart of this research was the response to this question, how likely would you be to listen to a podcast about a favorite brand or product. And the word favorite, or for some of our readers, that's favorite with a U, it's doing a lot of heavy lifting here. And I ask you to take that mental leap with me. When you think of the brands that you love the most, which ones come to mind? I certainly have a few myself, and we probably don't have many in common. But what we do have in common is that there are some brands or products that you are especially passionate about, and maybe even evangelize to your friends, whether they like it or not. I had a quick brainstorm with my wife, Tamson, to name the just the first eight to ten lesser known brands we could come up with that inspire passion and community. So our initial list we came up with was DVF or Diane von Furstenberg, Jeep, Lodge Cast Iron Pans, Jones Road Beauty, which is a line of clean makeup from Bobby Brown. Not that Bobby Brown if you're a Whitney Houston fan, the the other one. Black wing pencils, I use them all the time, half the pressure, twice the speed. King Arthur Flower, yes, there's a rabid King Arthur Flower community out there. Penzi's Spices, and then people who modify Honda Civics. Well, after as much as five minutes of painstaking research, here is the full list of those brands that currently have their own podcast. Jones Road. Well, at least Bobby Brown has one. DVF used to have one, but she seemed to have pod faded after about a half a dozen episodes. And that's it. Now, some of these brands have third-party fan podcasts, particularly Jeep, actually, and others, like Blackwing Pencils, do get mentioned in various related shows, but the brands themselves are silent. So how big is the opportunity here? What is the available audience for podcasts about brands? Well, according to the power of brands in podcasts, it's pretty sizable, a potential reach of 106 million Americans, 18 plus. That's the populations of Canada and the UK combined, if you ever wanted to do that. For perspective, you could compare the 41% who would be likely to listen to a podcast about a favorite brand to the same response for a podcast hosted by a favorite celebrity, which is 46%, or about a favorite TV show or movie at 52%. So by comparison, 41%, not too shabby. Now, here's the thing. Anyone could make a DVF podcast or a show about modding Honda Civics. Yes, there is a power associated with a company's involvement in a branded podcast, and I'll get to that in just a bit. But if you're ever lost for a podcast idea, just think about a brand you're nuts about and make that show. Chances are you aren't the only fan of that brand. The first one of you to make a podcast about Blackwing 602 pencils and all you can do with them gets me as your number two pencil listener. But if you are with a brand that has a passionate community and you don't have your own official podcast, allow me to convince you that it might be a good idea. In an era where the average consumer tries to avoid advertising as best they can through on-demand content, digital video recording, and premium subscriptions, brand fans, that 41% who would likely listen to a show about a favorite product, actually welcome our corporate overlords. In fact, when asked, Imagine you're interested in a podcast and you learn it's produced by a company that offers products or services to consumers or businesses. In general, does a company's involvement make you more 
or less likely to listen to it. Now, for listeners in general, a third said somewhat or much more likely compared to 8% who said somewhat or much less likely. But if you're a brand fan, the percentage who said more likely was 50 compared to those who said less, which was just four. Now, this data point is worth lingering over for a few minutes. First of all, with podcast listeners in general, a brand's direct involvement with a podcast is not only not a negative, it actually makes people more likely to listen to it. But with brand fans in particular, the kiss of authenticity from an official podcast is an overwhelmingly positive inducement to listen. Imagine that. In an era where we profess to skip and avoid ads as often as we can, half of brand fans would be more likely to listen to a podcast produced by a brand or company. Now, why is this? Some of this may be related to the product, or perhaps it creates an expectation of a, a higher production value, a mark of quality, as it were. In any case, there isn't a negative association with corporate involvement in podcasts. Indeed, most fans of indie shows are delighted when their favorite podcaster gets a sponsor, despite what a few cranky listeners might tell you. And I've said this before. If someone tells you they stopped listening to your podcast because you ran an ad, you never really had them as a listener in the first place. C'est la vie. Another thing about brand fans, they are natural evangelists and not just for their favorite brands. They are, in fact, much more likely to recommend other podcasts to people in their social circle, and they're much more likely to have other podcast listeners in their social circles than the average listener. In fact, 63% of brand fans say they've ever recommended a podcast to people in their social circle, as compared to 54% for podcast listeners in general. Now, if you make a brand fan happy with a podcast, and you are more likely to have gained a force multiplier as a listener, someone who might just tell a friend, which, until the podcast industry starts promoting itself properly, is still the number one way people discover new shows. Finally, I want to pay off on the promise of the title of this podcast, how podcasts about brands might even grow the audience for podcasting. We actually asked the central question, how likely would you be to listen to a podcast about a favorite brand or product of everyone in the sample? Now, most of the people who responded positively were, of course, already podcast listeners. Intriguingly, however, not all of them. In fact, 11% of the people who indicated they would be very or somewhat likely to listen to such a show are currently not podcast listeners. Now, if you're mathing at home, that's 11% of the estimated 106 million brand fans, which works out to a potential new audience of roughly 11 to 12 million Americans, 18 plus, who haven't yet found their reason to listen to podcasts. Now, those brand fans, like the persuadables that I talked about from our previous study, the podcast landscape, can come from all walks of life, but they over-index as women and older than the average podcast listener. So while any brand that inspires a passionate community has an opportunity in podcasting, those brands with an ardent following of older women should especially take note. Your podcast could very well be someone's first podcast. For more on brand fans and the opportunity for branded podcasting, be sure to watch the entire presentation of The Power of Brands in Podcasts and download the slides. There's no registration required, as always. This article was written with a Blackwing 602. Now, I hope somebody makes that show for me. Thanks again for listening to this podcast, How Branded Podcasts Might Be One Key to New Listeners. This episode is hosted on Art19. I'm Tom Webster, and I'll see you next time.